Um, Uni, come on up as our president. I'd love for you to close us out. Did you all enjoy your day? Thank you for staying through the whole thing. I mean, I'm just shocked that you all are still here. I know you've got to rush off. We got done almost an hour early, so yay. Um, but you can rush off to your next Republican Party dinner or back to your homes where you came from, and we want you to have safe travels, but have at it. All right, all right. This has been a wonderful day. There is one person, uh, person, first we thank God, of course, for each of you being here and for um, all the information that we've been and all the wonderful people who participated. Amen. But Becky put this together. Amen. Primarily, it is Becky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. It's my pleasure. And, and, and I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to say, but I'm, I've, I've got to say something. So y'all sit down for just a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought we were going to be an hour early. Well, never mind. Oh, I don't think it's going to take an hour. I mean, that, that would take... She is yeah, not no. long-winded, that's no. true. Yeah, you, right, she gets right. right to the point. You know, if you'd only have seen what you will see, look for it, the one-minute video that shows... <laughs> what has happened since that monument was taken out of the state Supreme Court in Alabama. Um, we, Elaine and I were there the day before it was removed. And by God's grace, that monument can be restored. Mm -hmm. Now, that is because of a Supreme Court ruling in the Kennedy, Coach Kennedy case. What difference would that make? Well, you know, I believe God could use that yes. to use anything. He can use even us, but it, but He does. But but He could use that monument because the nation would see it, and mm -hmm. they would realize that they too can stand up and publicly stand up for biblical values. So just participate in the petition that will be linked to that <clears throat> one-minute video and pray for God's blessing on that. Yeah. We need a revival. Yeah. You know, Amen. in the original McGuffey's Reader, I wish I had it, I wish I had I'd memorized it. Um, those Ten Commandments are listed. Those McGuffey's Readers were used by the vast majority of students in our country. Uh, until the last, what, until the early 20, 1920s. So, but that, the, not only did it have the Ten Commandments, but it said now, everybody can't keep these commandments, so God has provided a way, and that is salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you, God will forgive you. You know, it, it's a beautiful statement. That was in, the, not the public schools, in this country for decades. Well, if God could do it once, he can do it again. Yes. So we, we pray for revival and we pray for reformation. And that's the importance of the General Education Act because that can bring us, you know, Francis Schaeffer used to say that we, we need revival followed by reformation. Reform uh, what the classic teaching, the, the fundamental Western civilization, foundational principles mm -hmm. on which this country was based. That's what the General Education Act is about. Pray that that will move forward. Mm -hmm. it, it is brand new, I mean, last November. Yet God may not be through with this nation yet. Amen. God bless y'all. Thank you.